Hey, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another Linux app. Today we're gonna talk about the KDE Partition Manager. So I'm right now with my Linux operating system KDE, which is the big Linux with KDE Plasma. Let's go to to our system and go to our KDE Partition Manager. Of course, don't forget to enter your password. So as you can see, I have so many OS in my operating system. And of course, I want to delete, for example, one of the partition right here in my disk. And of course, I only have one MVME, only one, okay? And it is a Kingston, one terabyte of this space and as you can see I have the windows right here I have the Ubuntu Ed Ubuntu that is and of course I have the big Linux right here and I have the KDE Neon and I have also the Linux Mint and of course I have the virtual memory which is a little bit like slower than our physical random access memory so this is a a little bit like a in between uh, this is not so fast to store the uh, program to run but it is helping the memory the physical memory to a virtual memory to just put it for several minutes so that you could use the physical memory of your hardware so anyway uh, I have a question how to use the partition manager at the same time how to move and delete certain OS in your system for example if you want to delete the Microsoft Windows or maybe one of your partition either one of this so what if I wanted to delete the Microsoft so just click delete and then move just resize it so if I want to use the partition of the Ubuntu or add Ubuntu then I will delete it and then resize it and then you click apply to change uh, to accept the changes so for example I want to delete this one let's click delete and then there you have it I have the delete right here and then I want to move my uh, my big Linux so I have to resize it so there you have it let me resize that one so you can move and then if you want to resize it just resize it to the allocated area okay so I didn't click apply yet and then you could click apply if you wanted to so that is how we use the partition manager as long as you click apply and then it will apply all the operation but if you didn't click the apply it will undo everything like that one this is same goes to the windows if i wanted to delete all the windows right here i could click the delete well there you have it it's delete so that is how we resize and allocate so let's click undo this is a demo so for example this one if i wanted to add ubuntu be delete again i'll just delete it if you want to have a new partition just click new and then there you have it you have your uh, partition information a new with root or anyone so it's up to you then you click apply so I don't want to click apply because this is just a, an example I'm in my physical 
hardware so I could not delete everything and click apply but if you are 100% if you want to delete just go ahead and delete it so if you have some question why is it we are using only one VME on our disk and there is no disk 1, disk 2, disk 3 or so on so in our Linux if there is one disk space which means it is a disk space not a drive because drive it is still a disk disk drive that is why we call it disk drive but it's supposed to be named as partition not a drive so I think Microsoft Windows got it all wrong so that is why if you are a uh, IT or any computer specialist in your course so that is why Microsoft get it all wrong so the correct term if you are using the Linux and the Unix system you have to encounter this we only have one drive and it is gonna be a one drive and it is a type NVMe and if you have the solid state drive or the SSD it will also appear that it is a SSD drive and it is on one which means I have only one MVME drive if I have another MVME drive it will put it as number two but right now I don't have any so that is why we have only one MVME one drive so uh, that is why we have this kind of partition okay so how about if we have partition so under that particular drive number you have partition that is uh, represented with P or partition and then we have one so that is why we have one partition one partition two partition three partition four partition five where is my partition five five partition six partition 7 partition 8 9 10 and so on so you also have the unlocated right here which is also our partition but it is not yet formatted so it's just only represented with unallocated partition so you can also format what kind of type of format do you have like we have the fat32 we also have the NTFS. We also have the Extent 4, Extent 5, and before that we have Extent 3. So, and of course, you have the uh, swap right here. So, for example, let's uh, just uh, delete this one and then let's click New. So, as you can see, our partition. Uh, we deleted we have the options right here if it is BTRFS XFAT X, uh, extent 2 extent 3 extent 4 and so on we have also FAT32 right here Linux swap which is our virtual uh, virtual memory and also we have the Ninix. Yes, you remember the Ninix format? Yes, we do still have that one. And of course, we also have the NTFS system file. So let's not uh, apply that one because I don't want to lose some data. Okay. So that is why we have some partition right here. As you can see, we have different partition and we only have one drive. So Microsoft, please try to correct your drive C or something because that is not the right term. It is a partition. Except if you have some drive that you put 
another drive so it is a drive okay so that's it for now for our Linux app KDE partition manager and if you have some question feel free to ask me write it in the comments down below this has been the Linux app I'm Blair your science teacher Catch another episode of Linux App next time. And remember that science means knowing. That is why science is cool. Ciao!